So this moment brought to you by the Tokyo Olympics of a reporter trying to get these women to comment on Laurel Hubbard, the first trans woman that's competing in the Olympics, is quite rich. Look how these women respond to it at the Olympics. With Laurel Hubbard competing as the first openly transgender in a uh, in a uh, individual event, I was wondering, you know, what you felt about that, and what you felt that, that it took place in in your sport. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. You know, it's just it's just bizarre land. Like you watch one like this, and it's like. I'm so happy that these women just go, no, thank you, because it's so clear that they're upset about this. They have every right to be upset about this. And yet the media is playing some weird, bizarre game like this is progress. It's so much progress that now you guys have to compete with grown men. Right. And should, you know, do you have something nice to say about that? Don't you have something beautiful to say about the fact that now sports are not fair anymore? Yeah. It's bizarre. And they're just terrified to say anything. Right. Right? It's like, don't break the ice. You can't have an opinion. You can't be honest. You can't be genuine. You just stand there with that one person that looked like she was wearing a jock mask on her face. <laughs> that mask was ridiculous. I, you know, I, I, have, I think you're being too generous by saying, I didn't like that response at all. I, I understand it. I understand that they didn't want to get in the middle of this. And also, they're, they're the medal winners, right? And they don't, want to, they don't want the story to become about this other person who didn't even make it on the stage. So I get that. But at the same time, with this kind of madness, it's not going to go anywhere until just normal people in these situations just speak up and say the normal thing, which is the normal thing that we all agree with, although few will say, is no, of course he shouldn't have been there. That's, that's a man. He doesn't belong on the stage. And it was a farce and it was ridiculous that he was there. Let's get back to talking about us now. Just something really simple like that. I get why people don't want to say it, but as long as sane people remain silent, then there's no hope. Yeah, I, I, feel, I, I do feel, though, by saying, you know, no comment or no thank you, you are, you're making a very strong statement by what you're not saying, especially when they kind of give it to you like a t-ball, like, yeah. don't, what do you think about this amazing thing? And then it's like, uh, you know what, no thank you. And also, you have to think, it's just their livelihood, right? You have seen how vicious, I think there's no movement that has been more vicious than the transgender agenda. Like, they will wipe you out, say you're not allowed to exist in society, say you're bigoted, say you're backwards, if you do not get on board with something that is obviously a mental disorder, right? It's obviously a mental disorder, and I'm not saying saying that as an opinion, I'm saying it as a matter of, I think they recently changed it, but actually the DSM the, of psychiatric disorders said that gender dysphoria is a psychiatric condition. And even if you're on Twitter and you say the truth, as our good friend Ali Stuckey did over the weekend, she got her account suspended, put on hold rather, because this is what she, tweet, this is what she tweeted, Laura Hubbard failing at the event doesn't make his inclusion fair. He's still a man, and men shouldn't compete against women in weight weightlifting. Well, so an well, actual well. woman got <laughs> silenced, right? I mean, yeah. and got silenced because she acknowledged that somebody was actually a man. That's insanity. It's hateful, according to Twitter. How dare you? There was the, the We Spa in Los Angeles, which has become sort of now a, a central point in this war where there's protests going on there. Because a man walked into the women's locker room naked, displaying his you know equipment to everybody, uh, and I don't mean like tennis rackets. And he and I apologize. <laughs> I accept it. But we, we all accept it. We have to accept you. Okay. But the, thank you. You know, the man walked in, and then, and then some woman, just a normal woman, had enough of it, and she came out and she made a fuss about it. And um, and I think that's what we need. That's what we need to start seeing people do. And, you know, Ali Stuckey there just says a normal thing. And, of course, I guess in a way you sort of need people to just start jumping on the grenades. Uh, and I know it's easy for me for me to say, but you know, I, I jump on them all the time. It's like, that's what me we too. Exactly. So we're a lot of grenade jumpers yeah. here. We need, we need, I think everyone, <laughs> that's what we need to start doing. Otherwise, uh, we get cowed into, into silence. I know a lot of women can relate, but I do not know anything about cars. I simply want mine to work. So thank goodness for rockauto.com. Ordering parts on rockauto.com is so much easier than walking into a store and being made to answer questions like, is your Odyssey an LX or an EX? And then they usually just have to order the part online anyways, because it's impossible to keep every single part in stock. RockAuto.com always offers the lowest prices possible rather than changing prices based on demand like airlines do. Why spend up to twice as much for the same auto parts? RockAuto.com is a family business serving auto parts customers online for 20 years. Go to RockAuto.com to shop for auto and body parts from hundreds of manufacturers. The catalog is unique and remarkably easy to navigate. 
quickly see all the parts available for your vehicle and choose the brand specifications and the prices that you prefer. Go to rockauto.com right now and see all the parts available for your car or truck. Be sure to write Candace in the how did you hear about us box so that they know that it was me that sent you. There's something tremendously perverted about it. Like mean, what you're talking about now, we're seeing so many of the instances where people are pretending that they've got, you know, gender issues because they want to be in places they want to do creepy things, and you're allowing this to happen because you're uh, like they're obsessed with making us accept this lie. This lie that men can be women and that women can be men. And it, it comes at such a special time when everyone keeps telling us to trust the science. Yeah. Like, trust the science seems to be the narrative. And yet with this stuff, they're like, no, 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 no. Don't believe your lying eyes. Don't believe what is very clear to you. You just have to wake up one day and want it and that's it. Yeah, it's it's complete insanity. And I want to uh, send, uh, we got to send like a, a get well soon card to, to Laurel, Laura Hubbard. Cause you think it's a dude you know, competing for the weightlifting. He's going to dominate, you know, and then, he, ooh, he's in the women's, and then he doesn't even, like, that's got, you got to feel love. Right. That, that's, that's like, you know, that's yeah. just a dude in a dress. He's right. going to crush, and then he, yeah. that's, wow. And that's I, do, a, I do also love these moments. It's sort of like when, as uh, Megan Rapinoe or Rapinoe, when she lost to the 12-year-old boys. Uh, that was hilarious. was hilarious. Hey, wait, they were 14. Come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, you're right. They were 14. Big difference. But it is, it's always these things that remind us that biology is real because you do realize we keep saying that it's unfair for women when men grow, men compete, but we never hear any men complaining that trans women are competing in their sports. I wonder why. And, uh, yeah. Because they're just not, I mean, trans men are competing in male sports. The men don't care because they're not a threat to them in their trophies, right? The other thing, you, yeah. you, never, you never see men at the top of their field discovering magically that they have women trapped inside of them. It's always, <laughs> it is, it's, it's always men who, like Laurel Hubbard, you know, you, you, it, it, that's interesting because the left, they took that example of him failing out of the Olympics, and they said, oh, that proves, you see, that proves our point because that means, that, look, you were, you were afraid he was going to steal all the medals and he doesn't even make it, so, you're, uh, so you, you guys are panicking over nothing. But this was a guy, this is just like this out of shape, normal looking dude. He looks like a normal 43-year-old dude who, who got off of his couch one day and said, oh, I'll compete in the Olympics, why not? And, uh, and, but he was able to make it on the stage against the women. It's always these guys who, you know, it's not going to be the guy who is crushing the men and he discovers he's a woman. It's always kind of the bottom of the pack. And yeah. That's, that's an interesting scientific phenomenon. I wonder why that is. I, say, I, I will accept the science. I will put this down today, throw around the gauntlet. I will accept the science that men can be women and women can be men. If you find me a biological woman that becomes a trans man, just still a biological woman, that defeats the men in athletic competitions in the Olympics. And I will say, you know what? If, if, if a woman sprinter beats the male sprinter, then I will say, you've got me. I have a feeling it's going to be a long time to never when that happens. So. <laughs> yeah, we won't hold our breath. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Candace. If you wish you could come out to see an episode of Candace live on the Daily Wire's Dime, now is your chance. We are giving away another winning ticket to send you and a plus one out to Nashville to meet me and watch the show live. To enter, go to dailywire.com slash VIP and use code VIP to get 25% off a new membership and you will automatically be enrolled to win the VIP pass. Again, that's dailywire.com slash VIP. And as always, if you liked this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notifications on new videos.